Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to you four rights of man hail to the king when we last left off we had a pretty decent thing going on here we are continuing our expansion um let's see here we have Jianzu separatists in seven years these guys in 12 years these guys in six uh anyone who is imminently going to wait we have sunni zealots no i actually like that if they spawn and they uh they want to convert me i'll i'll do it as that would be really, really helpful for me. To be honest, for any 9 years, 18 years, 17 years, 3.5 years. Uh, where? Are these, uh, in my provinces or in provinces I have given away? Presumably provinces I've given away. If I had to guess, yes. Alright, so I have 3 years to finish this war, give or take. Possibly less, depending on how things end up going. With, uh... Oh yeah, you guys are doing your stuff. That's good. Uh, the Uzbeks have not actually shown up yet. Um, Uzbek has peaced out. So now they can focus entirely on killing me. Which, uh... I have to admit, that kind of concerns me. Japan has rivaled me. Good for you, Japan. For that. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, how many men does the Uz or do the Uzbeks have? Yes. Swish. All the way down here. Uh, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Uh, they have 19,000. And now our general can't serve us. Well, that sucks. However, if we keep up our current, uh, our current activities... I'm gonna get everyone to kind of march on over here. I don't mind losing one stacks so quite so much, but uh, yeah, what is this? Highland. So at least it's flat terrain. So when the Uzbeks come in, hopefully there will be no defensive penalties or offensive penalties, rather. All right, yeah, you sir, come on over here. Overall, this is. This is actually a pretty decent war we've got going on here so far. Uh, these pretender rebels are going to make sure that the separatist rebels show up even sooner, which is kind of unideal. I am also hopeful that uh, my strategy that I've got going on here actually pays off for me. What is this? Siberian separatists. Uh, is this Siberian? Okay, yeah, let's not, let's actually not go up here, because I don't want uh, to step on Siberia's toes. Let them do their rebellion, and I will do my rebellion. And everyone will be happy, especially me. Alright, still no sign of uh, the Uzbeks. You guys are allied with Yarkin, for all the good that's going to do you. Once I'm done with you, where the heck is their capital? I'm actually rather confused by this. Where is the capital of the Uzbeks? Do they even have a capital? Is there some weirdness where they don't get a capital now? Now uh, this is also not Siberian. All right, so which means that the Siberians will keep doing their thing, I'll keep doing my thing, and everyone, especially me, will be happy. You know what actually occurs to me? Uh, I can't really afford either, really, but I guess I'll take that. Uh, let's do some more exploration. South China Sea, and then I guess I'll turn you back to protecting trade or something for all the good that's doing me. Stupid separatists and rebels. Alright. This could cause some problems. Oh, we have ideas. Right, settler increase. But I do want to pick up uh, a little bit of diplo tech here so that we're not getting corruption from unbalanced tech. So that would be not good. Put it uh, lightly. Where the hell are the Uzbeks? I mean, I'm glad, don't get me wrong, that they seem to have just wandered somewhere and that they don't appear to have a capital, as far as I can tell. Like, they must be deep in Timurid territory or something. Uh, do they have a stupid ruler who's doing stupid things? Let's see here. 
uh, Benevolent, Naive Enthusiast, and Silver Tongue. That's actually pretty useful. Oh. Okay, now the Uzbek tribes have shown up. And there's the Uzbeks. Wait, I thought they had 19,000. They lost all their men to something. And I lost a couple of men, which is less ideal for me. Fruity Liqueur? Aw, I hate bad fence like that. That's unfortunate for me, but these things happen. Uh, Alright, we're sucking up to the various people we can suck up to. You were probably coming to kill me, if I had to guess. And I mostly want to take land from the Uzbeks. In fact, I'll, I'm going to try to take like a big string to touch no guy over here, who is also allied with the, no, or with the Uzbeks. So what I could probably do, if I took a big old string of land touching no guy because then we could declare war on no guy because again remember we want to we want to make our way west as fast as possible because ah look at this the renaissance is over here so basically we want to touch this as soon as possible actually if we can touch uh crimea then we'll be touching the ottomans which will not only make them more likely to want to join us or to want to be our friends but it'll also, I'm going to keep pushing my luck here and trying to siege land. Uh, but it'll also make them more likely to uh, pass stuff. What's this? What? Just randomly lose base tax? That sucks. Sucks for me. Where is Ambon anyway? At a place I've colonized? Oh, it's just some place down here. Some place I may or may not colonize. Depends on where my priorities are. All right, I don't know where the Uzbeks are. I think they're hiding in here somewhere. Maybe they have rebel problems to deal with. And I suppose I should probably help kill these guys. They would probably appreciate that. Oh, there's the Uzbeks. Where are you going? Like, you're only at war with me, so what... What has you distracted? Ooh, what's this? Natives in one place lose some aggressiveness. That's always good. Uh, we have some Shagate people over here. Where are you going? I'm gonna kinda march over there. Alright, if I pieced out now... What could I get? Oh crap, you're coming to kill me. Could you uh, not kill me? I mean, you are, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Emerid's opinion is at least 100. Is that even physically possible? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, so I'll... I'll take this even though we're not going to be able to actually do it for a while. All right, let's see. So if I piece out Shagate, my big concern is can I reach out and touch no guy? No, I have to actually, because I didn't, I made the mistake of not co-belligerizing the Uzbeks because I was scared. A dirty coward. Oh crap, I can't even. Hmm. Ah, it's going to cost Diplo points to separate piece them. Sucks. Oh well. Hmm. Anyway, but I, I should try getting... I might not be able to string my way over, but... I noticed that the Timurids are having problems with life, so I could always uh, go through them. Might be good. Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright, let's let's peace out for what we can get here. I mean this this is a reasonable stretch, but let let's uh maybe aim for less border gore. Oh, they're actually not willing to peace out as of yet. What wait, why do we have only fifty six percent when I've basically full sieged them? That's just silly. Where's Kochkor? Alright, we'll go back here then. Wait, you have you didn't just instantly stack wipe me? That's kind of hilarious. Uh, let's see. They lose loyalty or they gain influence. That means I can get you to run away. Hey, okay, never mind. Now where are you going? Choi. Wait until it gets the lock. Alright, now he can't change his mind. Excellent. Alright, let's kill him on the steps. Excellent. And... Well, I guess I might as well see if it's at all possible to 
get something going on here. Ah. Never mind. Let's uh, go ahead and do some fighting. Alright, and this guy, I'll make your new mission to protect trade in Jiren, go home at war. And you can do that for a little while until we get a new exploration mission. Alright. And meanwhile, the Uzbek tribes are taking over up here. Good for them. Yes, kill, kill the Separatists, please. Incidentally, how do you feel about me? They actually like me, so I could start annexing them, which I think I'm going to do because that's much better for me. Unfortunately, they're unseaging stuff, which is less good for me. And we have a rebel uprising in my own country, it would seem, in one year. Which means it's probably a good time to peace out. If I can. But that might not that might not be in the cards just yet, because I do need to take out uh, the Uzbeks a little bit. So let's uh let's let's make an attempt to kill them, because that would be good. Uh Weechi is still being a dick to us for some reason. Uh Ottomans, would you like to royal marry me? Come on, you know you want to. No? Distance between borders, huh? And we have poor diplomatic reputation for some reason. I guess I can understand that. Let's keep sucking up to Ming, because again, we want to make sure that our relations are as good as possible. Well, they're at least positive again. You still outraged at me? You are. You're still kind of outraged. When you're not outraged, will you marry me again? It would mean a lot to me. Alright, let's see here. I'm reasonably sure I can beat them. Oh look, they're gonna come to fight me means hopefully I'll get any offensive and or defensive bonuses. Let's see here. Uh, they have lower morale, lower discipline, and lower military tactics. So overall, they're probably going to get squished. It's going to hurt me a lot, but hopefully it hurts them even more, which is exactly what I was counting on. Um, hmm. Let's see here. The world has decided that the Timurids are not a great power after all. Good for them. Do I want to... Not really. Actually, you know what? I am going to break these guys off and I'm going to consolidate them. Because again, we are eventually not going to be a, a horde and I do sort of want to put us in a situation where eventually... Eventually, it's possible... Well, that way we're not immediately screwed with the unbalanced army thing. Alright, let's uh, let's keep going. What is What are my numbers looking like? 14 of 23. That's actually terrible. Ugh. Absolutely terrible. But, overall, overall, things are not completely bad. They're mostly bad. And let's uh, get this guy home. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we're at 67%. Let's uh, get everyone over here. Because again, my, my big goal, if I, can, if I can figure out a way to weasel into touching no gay or no guy in this particular war, then we're basically set for life. Because it basically means we can immediately declare another war, we can work our way into touching... Uh, touching the Ottomans, so that we can get La Renaissance, which is... that's just a terrible attempt to sound sophisticated. Alright, let's do it. Oh, and we can tech up. Awesome. Alright, let's do it. Okay, here we go. No, 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 don't unconditional surrender. That would be awful. Alright, doop, 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 doop. Alright, so I, I can do it. I can string my way along and touch no guy, which will probably get me into another war with the, uh, the, uh, Uzbeks, to be honest. And I won't take the peace, though. Stupid length of war penalty. <laughs> if it wasn't for that length of war penalty, I kind of wish it just automatically went away when the war was obviously basically won. That would be nice, but that would probably make things a bit too easy. Oh well. Alright. Now, the key is to figure out what the auto or not the Ottomans, what the Uzbeks are planning, really. 
Because basically, if I can siege out at a rate faster than them, plus there's going to be war exhaustion all around here. Where are you going? Taraz. All right, why did you change target? Are you coming after my vassal? You bastard. How dare you? I mean, yeah, this war exhaustion is going to really turn things in my favor. Timurids can go to war with me again if they want it. Hopefully they choose not to. Um, I wonder. Should I just try collecting ducats <laughs> with my merchants? Okay, 1.7. Yeah, I get a small, tiny, insignificant amount more. And a tiny amount more. But it is enough to make me earn money again, so that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, I could try converting stuff. I feel that's probably not worth it. Are you done yet? Oh, you're actually almost done. Hooray! It'll only take, like, 10 million years. By 10 million years, like, five, probably. Where are you going? Kaisel come. Wait, is that... Kaisel come. Kaisel come? However you want to pronounce... Oh, they're coming in here. Uh, in that case... Let's have everyone just go here instead. And can I PC out now? Like, are you... Yes, you're, you're tired. You don't want to fight anymore. I can't get that, though. That's okay. I mean, the, the important thing is I'm splitting the Uzbeks and I can start another war with no guy. That's, that's the key thing. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, Cumuliate Rival... All right, you guys can go over here. Um, that's a 15k stack. I don't want to deal with that. I'll just tell you to go away. Can't do anything about that. Can't really do anything about that. Uh, I will give land to the Oirat. Because I think Hopiscar was originally theirs. I'll also give them Urzan. Well, actually, I'll... I'll give them all the land I can, to be honest. That way I don't have to core it. That's pretty much been my modus operandi this entire time. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Yes. Oh, I forgot to raise stuff. Dang it. Oh well. You don't need to raise it, I guess. It's not that important. Plus, most of this is garbage territory land anyway. And will be only more garbage territory once I am done with it, apparently. So, yeah. Hey, why can't I, why can't I core you? I don't have a core here, or here. Oh right. Oh right. That, that's a problem. That is a pickle. All right. Let's uh. Let's send some guys home. Before we start our next war, I am going to have to... Uh, you guys are coming home, right? Yes. All right, this is going to be really awkward. Okay, we can go to war from no guy, which is good for us. Hmm. All right, now we're going to start annexing you. Or at least we will once we get you to like us a bit more. Yeah, I'll just suck up to them for a little bit. Not going to take that long, just two months or so. Uh, what's this? More devote life, or we gain horde unity. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, I'd ra uh, if it makes you happy, I'll be good. I'll, you know, I'll make a show of being more devout. But like most rulers, my shows at piety are entirely, entirely facetious and exist solely to shut up people. Yep. That's the politician's way. Oh, I can core this. That's good. The more stuff I can core, the sooner I don't have to worry about things. All right. Now, here's where things are going to be interesting. I, If the Uzbeks don't join this war, that's actually probably best for me. To... Would they be willing to join the war? Because they do have... They would, really? Come on. You're 214 in debt. You have no manpower. I mean, surely you've got all this to worry about. And yet, they would still be willing to fight. How many men does no guy have? Alright, so Uzbek, they still have a whole bunch of guys. They have 14,000. And no guy, they have 11,000. 
Oh, also, I should probably raise the autonomy everywhere, just to save myself a bit of trouble. Well, as much trouble as I can, and we're gaining corruption. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is bad. I could hire out some condottieri, which would, uh, let's see. Hire you. Okay, it says they're willing. I guess I'd have to break this up. Wait, does it say how much they're willing to take? No. Dang it. It'd be much easier if they would give me some numbers here. It also annoys me that I have this entire game not been making enough money to get a single advisor. Like, goodness gracious. Ah. Uh, well, it's tough to be a horde, I guess. I mean... Let, wait, you have a truce with Korea? What the hell? Oh, they're a vassal? Oh. Well, that could be problematic. Uh, when are you going to be done, by the way? Let's see here. You'll be done in unknown. What, why is it unknown? Oh, crap, because I have such bad diplomatic reputation, I won't be able to annex you for a while. Well, that's, that's not good. To be entirely honest... Which actually makes me think maybe the smart thing to do would be to feed them all these provinces after all. Or not. Or it might just be a good idea to just bite the bullet and turn into being Manchu. I don't know. It could make life easier, but it might make life harder. You know what, I, I guess I might as well be trying to convert some of the stuff, because our religious unity is just in the toilet right now. Okay. Alright, you know what? Let, let's just become Manchu. Let us transform ourselves. Also, let's pick up some rivals. Because why not? We need rivals, we need power. And, uh, okay, yes. Alright. Janzu Separatists, huh? Well, I guess we can't go to war, because I do have to stop these rebels from rebelling. That would make a lot of sense. And, uh, I'm kind of sad that I can't go to war with Korea, but they're in a good enough position that I guess it's okay. Did you go to war with them, or, or what? Okay. And this is, uh, this is a dangerous position we find ourselves in. I will be honest with you. A scary and dangerous position. All right, but uh, yes, what I should be doing, probably, I mean, getting a bunch of cores on stuff, which actually means that doing this in some ways would have been smarter. Wait, oh, here we are, reform the government. Have at least free stability. We have to have economic, innovative, or administrative. And not have tribal succession. What does this do for us exactly? Uh, we lose a whole bunch of stuff, we change our government type, and we do become Muslim tech, so... Wait, do we stay as a horde if we do this? Yes, please. Wait, what, uh... What tr traditions and ideas do we get? So I kind of like these ones. I... Did they change? Oh, okay, so doing that turns us into... Okay, we're not a horde anymore. All right. We're not a horde? We are a Khanate now. Okay. King Dynasty. We could still reform the government. I mean, given the way that the game likes to take uh, admin from us, we're probably not going to get that anytime soon. So what do I need here? I need to have Ningguan, Shenyang, Beijing, Okay. Does not have tr- wait. Am I still a horde? I am still a horde. Okay, alright, so being Manchu doesn't actually make you not a horde anymore. Alright, that's good. And we do still have our awesome, uh, Manchu stuff going on here, which is good. I assume when we become king, we also gotta keep that. Wait, so beca would becoming king turn us into a, a non-horde as well, or do I still have to worry about this whole reform thing? I'm going to assume becoming king would, uh, 
Oh yeah, government becomes despotic monarchy. All right, so we really only need to become king when we're ready to give up our super powerful horde ideas. But for the time being, all right, that's good. Uh, incidentally, did that change our accepted cultures at all? No. I could make Bury at an accepted culture. Nothing else, though. That's unfortunate. All right, but for now, we're good. That's going to do it for this episode. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.